systems of equations. Yeah, for real. For realsies. I said, I said that's good. Yeah, yeah, that's right. For good, for reals. <laughs> I'm not going to explain to you how to do this stuff. You can watch my other playlist of videos called Systems of Equations. You can roll your eyes all you want to. I'm just going to show you what you remember about systems of equations. And then I'm going to show you a super easy way for solving them. And then you're going to hate me for not showing this to you earlier. This is a system of equations. Remember a system of equations, what we're basically looking for is where these lines intersect. Remember that, Jazz? Now, we have ways of solving this. One way is by graphing, but graphing is not always the easiest thing because solutions are not always integers. They're not always showing up in the graphing window. Plus, you guys screw up when you graph. If you don't believe me, look at your test. <laughs> okay? Your straight lines start curving. What is that about? Uh oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's. I know exactly what <laughs> Remember about solutions, though. This is key. Solutions are ordered pairs. Solutions are ordered pairs that satisfy both equations. Solutions are ordered pairs that satisfy both equations. Now, we have three main ways of solving these guys. One way is graphing. I'm not going to do that. You can just solve these guys for y, put in your graphing calculator, and find out where they intersect. Let's talk about the substitution method. Remember the substitution method? Guess what you do in the substitution method? Yeah, I was actually looking for the word substitute, but yes, you put that in the other one. Don't even. Don't even. <laughs> Doug, you know I'm right, Doug. No, you don't. All right, well, <laughs> y equals 2x plus 5, which means I can plug this into the other equation for y. Don't plug it into the same equation. Don't plug it back into itself. Oh, so I'm going to plug this into y. Why? Why would you do that? I know why ask why, right? This is the easier metric. I thought we, I thought we did do it. I mean, we, we did do this. I'm showing you what we did, and I'm going to show you the easy way for doing this because you get a graphing calculator. Yay. So now let's solve this. <laughs> I put this in parentheses just in case there was a gold piece in here. But there wasn't, except for one. Who cares? Oh, you sound like a cartoon. <laughs> 3x plus 5 equals negative 7. Which means what? Minus 5. Negative 4. Negative 12. X equals negative 4. X equals negative 4. <laughs> <laughs> now, if x equals negative 4, we got to find y. Substitute. Something. Scuba Steve from Big Daddy. The Adam Sandler movie? No. Doesn't it? Uh, if x equals negative 4, plug it back in. Doesn't matter where you plug it in. Oh, I'm sorry. You got x equals negative 4, plug it in. Okay, that's great. Squiggle line. I like him. Y equals 2 times negative 4 plus 5. We'll just do the work. <laughs> what? <laughs> the solutions, guys, are order pairs. Negative 4, negative 3. <laughs> Are you sure about that, Doug? Doug. <laughs> Doug. <laughs> That's, a, that's, a, that's a funny name. It's a Doug eat Doug world. <laughs> I bet his favorite video game was Dig Doug. <laughs> you don't remember that game. You put a quarter in. That's when games only cost a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, negative four, negative three. How do you know this is right? 
we don't. You do. You plug it back into the. <laughs> I did the problem, so you know it's right. <laughs> Let's solve these guys for y. Let's check this in the graphing calculator. <laughs> 2x plus 5, solve this guy for y. That's negative 7, and then I have to subtract the x over. Boom. Like Boom. that. Boom. <laughs> I'm going to graph this bad boy, find out why the lines intersect. Here they go. Oh, what? Quadrant 3. Does this match up with quadrant 3 when the answer is negative 4 and negative 3? Show sure is right there. Yep. Sure now, how do you use your graphing calculator to come up with this? They would not like me. I do not want to go back to high school. Go to second, calculate, and do the intersection. How many intersection points do we have? One. One. So act like a little monkey and just press the enter button three times. Is that good? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> negative 4 and negative 3 is my intersection point. So this matches up, right? Yep. You did a great job. I know I did a great job. Thank you. You've seen this. Uh, thank you. Uh, stop. You're too kind.